dumb, stupid, uneducated, ungrateful, unworthy. These are the, uh, these are the words that usually the feminists are saying about the hashtag or the trend nowadays. Women against feminism. It's really fun. It's really fun to see the so-called battle and you know the ship called the HMS feminism. Thank you, Port Chan, for coining that term, whoever you are. And the fact that they cannot take it anymore. These women are now standing up for these feminists that says that they know what's better for women. And these are the same people that said that women can say whatever they want. And now this happened. It's amazing, isn't it? It's really amazing. And how feminists are freaking out despite that right now they're exposed. They're completely exposed. The cracks in their armor have already been shown. And these women and these women that are against feminism are banging into that armor until nothing is left. It's really amazing. And you know what? I have to salute these women who are actually saying that, no, you don't represent me. And now feminists are going to say, oh, you're against feminism, then um, you are against what we fought for in the past. This is modern day feminism. Feminism wasn't coined. You know, the term feminism wasn't coined until the 1960s. If you're going to talk about the suffrage, uh, suffrage, and you're going to both, uh, talk about women having the right to vote, you weren't there. And I don't want to call these fir first wave feminism because they don't really care about the term. They just want to say, hey, we want this. We want ourselves the right to vote and the suffrage concerning that, hey, it's, it's like alimony. So there's that. And the guilt trip is really high on that, uh, really high on the feminists. I'm sure that they're just crying and saying, oh my god, these women are against us. We're supposed to represent them. And we're supposed to fight for them. Now, these are the same women that, we, that they so-called represent are now being talked down to, saying that they, they deserve rape, they, that they deserve to die, deserve to be killed, deserve this and that. Is that how you feminist wants to play this game? Is, there, is this really what you play? Is this really want you to play the game? This is how you play the game. If you are, if you really want to play this game, I suggest go ahead. Because now, people are seeing who are the bad guys are. Feminist does not equal women. Feminism does not equal, does not equal representation of all women. You're going to say, oh, we want equal rights for women. But you're saying that in the West, the West, probably the most progressive side of the world, the Western Hemisphere, Europe, Americas. How about bring that feminism to, um, bring that feminism that you want because there's a patriarchy apparently, no, that, not apparently, there's a, an evident amount of patriarchy, evident, you know, evidence of patriarchy in the Middle East, also in Pakistan. Also in India. Also in Africa. How about that? Oh, you can't? Oh, that shows how brave you are. Brave. And now these women are against you. Now, who's the bad guy now? It's definitely not me. It's definitely not them. It's definitely you. <laughs> it's just amazing. Uh, women like Lauren, um, Aaron PZ. Karen Strong, Miss Janet Bloomfield, you know, judgy bitch, and other women are, you know, I have just to give a salute to them because these women are actually saying, hey, you've done the damage. It's time for you to stop. And if you really want to victimize yourself, go ahead, make your day. But hey, we're going to expose you on what you are. And now I am, you know, I'm now being called as MRA despite I'm only an anti-feminist. Seems like there's a no such thing as a gray area within this world. It's either you're a feminist or if you're an anti-feminist, you're an MRA. It's just amazing. You know, it's just really amazing. The hypocrisy, 
the hypocrisy is really high on this. So who would have thought? You know, the same people who says that they're for equality, but at the same time, they don't want to do the hard work. They don't want to, to actually implement equality. You know, equality. Because they want to victimize themselves over and over and look for things and look for a certain group of people that they can bully under the banner of feminism just to justify their beliefs. And you know what the penitent, um, pet their, their penitent reasonings are? Not all feminists are like that. Sure, because not all Asians are good at math. Me included. And also, uh, look at the femini definition of feminism in the dictionary. That is an old record that's being scratched over and over. That the sound is so deafening, you will just want to break it. That's, you know, that's mainly their reason. And, oh, well, majority of the women have been victimized. So women are the only priority. That's what they said. Because, you know, the dads, of, man, that doesn't matter. That's everyday shit. Yep, they said it. And men, they don't have, you know, they don't deserve equal rights because women have been oppressed for the past. You know, since the none of mankind, we need to, we need red repatriations. Shut up. Shut up. Because I live in a country for 350 years that have been oppressed and that been occupied by the Spanish colonials, colonists, if you will. Did we seek repatriations? Fuck you. Double fuck you. Equality is already here. You have more rights than men in the West today. Heck, you can even accuse a man of rape and destroy him for life. And guess what? Everything is going to be taken away from him? Oh, well, you know, men cannot be raped, men cannot do it, and men cannot be mugged onto the streets. Sure. Have you heard of the shootings every time you open up the TV? You know, cars stolen, shot, uh, sh shots have been fired, man down, hand down, man down. You haven't? Or you just want to play this game of feminism just because you have some inferiority complex. I know it's hard. But these women against feminism, they know what they're saying. They know what they're doing. And they see, they see the mistakes, see the flaws, and see your hypocrisies in this smoke and mirrors that you call equality under the banner of feminism. Not my fault that you are, and not my fault that your movement turned into a hate group. It's not our fault that you hate men so much, that you loathe men so much, that you, you look at us like animals. As Charles Darwin said, humans are the highest form of animals. You are an animal too, feminist. If you want to be the third gender, not the homosexuals, not the, go ahead. Because at this point, at this point in time that you're against women, against feminism, you're showing that you are separated from men and women. Fact. That's a fact. If, you don't, if you're not down with that, I've got two words for you. Fuck off. Anyway, I'm a homer. You know what? There is a difference between men and women. Really, there is. If you cannot accept that, that's not my problem. It is your problem. See you later.